Hey there, it's Jacqueline with Discover Love Matches, and I would like to do your rejections for you. I would like to be the person that tells the other person you're not interested. I would like to be the person that passes a nice compliment for meeting you, but the, this will not be continuing. I would like to be that person that gives you the free forum to meet amazing people and not worry about the what ifs. This is pretty powerful. So if you've been following along, I am producing amazing introduction dates for my incredible clients. And one thing that I'm noticing, I think is giving a little extra edge over other introduction situations is that I am the one who does the follow-up after the date. And I'm the one that gets the updates if you are interested or not. Once I introduce you to somebody, I'm the one that has to tell the other person that you're not interested. And you know what? It's actually not so bad. It's not a bad negative rejection feeling. It's more of a, hey, that was great that I got to meet you. I just don't think we're a match. I'm not as interested in this person for whatever reason. Now, I appreciate my clients do update me. They let me know some, some are subtle, some are more direct as to what it is that they weren't interested in with a potential match. But what I really love about this opportunity is that I can share an appropriate response because we don't need to reject somebody so that they are hurting and they are not going getting back to dating, that it affects their confidence. And this is what I see in the real world of dating. When people meet and one's all excited and feels the potential and the other one doesn't, often that rejection is done cruel or disrespectfully or dismissive. And so often I see people not even letting the person know they're not interested. They just freaking ghost, which we do not do that in my agency. And they also maybe might say no, but they say it in a very direct forward way that nobody really needs to know that you're not attracted to them. That doesn't help anybody in the equation. And so when I'm doing my introduction days, I'm the one setting it up. So I'm the one taking the responsibility for who I think should meet. The sparks are going to be up to you guys. I just introduced a gal to two different people and she picked the opposite of the two. I thought she'd be more interested in one guy and she was more interested in the other guy. So you have this freedom to decide what you want. No matter how great I am, it depends how the other person really shows up and is prepared for dating success. Now, what's exciting is that after an introduction date, I then have each person send me an email and let me know if they're interested or not. When I get the email that says, lovely to meet him or her, but I'm not interested, and then I get some feedback, I decide what's of value. I can be that filter. I want to keep the other person's confidence going and feeling great because rejection is just ridiculous if we take it that personal because the truth of the matter is is that it's just that one person's opinion of you based on what that one person wants in a partner you don't get to truly decide and there's nothing you probably could have done any differently to get that person to be interested in you unless you're being fake so you were authentic on your date you were real even if what you want is that person that you got to meet and they're not reciprocating that, they probably want something that you could just can't even offer. It might be a difference in height. It might be in age. It might be in figure. It might be in education. It might be an activity level. I have some clients that it's all about their activities that they can share. I have some clients that it's all about the distance that they can share. Sometimes I push the envelope to get people to try a little bit more. And it's been pretty exciting to see the actual results are very positive. When I get a client to just trust me to meet somebody outside of their list. But when this is all happening, it's about you being free enough to say, yes, I'm interested or no, I'm not. And let me do the rejection for you. Let me confirm the interest for you so that you can be assured that there is a mutual interest. This isn't just a, oh, thanks for sending me a little message on this dating app. Maybe I'll start chatting with you to see if I'm interested. I make sure these are real people doing real things to see if they're really interested and they want to then meet for an in-person date. And if they're not your person, who flippin' cares when it comes to your emotional self? 
I, of course, care because I want everybody to fall madly in love and have all these blessings. But what I don't care about is why you're not interested if it's not something the other person can fix. If they're too short or they're too tall or they're too curvy figured or they're too skinny, that is who they are. That is not something that you need to know why somebody wasn't interested in you. That's just reality. Let's be authentic in what we're sharing. If we're going to tell somebody what they didn't quite have for you, it needs to be something that they could improve for you. And if they did improve those things, you would then be interested. Otherwise, all of those other comments are midpoint. The best thing to say is, thank you so much for meeting. I really enjoy getting to know you. I do not feel we are a match, but I'm glad that our paths crossed. Something as simple as that. If you're doing the rejection, if I'm doing the rejection for you, I will let them know that it wasn't a match and that we're going to go on to the next person. We're going to keep them on our list. We don't dwell on it. My clients don't dwell on it. There's no long wandering confusion. What happens is results. We get ourselves moving forward, we get ourselves in a place that allows you to meet people, have a good time, but not sweat on, oh, now I got to tell them I'm not interested. Oh, maybe I should ghost them. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could convince myself to go out with them. It's just not necessary when you're a part of our agency. Discover Love Matches, we get stuff done. We get these dates happening. But I want you to know that if we can free you from doing the rejection, this will allow you to be more vulnerable, more authentic on dates, because you're less worried about what you're going to do after the date and more focused on, let's see if it's possible. Because if you're not a match, let me take care of it. I can reject them with love and kindness and keep them interested. It's really been quite beautiful. My style, my compassion, my connection to everybody makes this process so much more beautiful and nobody's dwelling nobody's wondering nobody's coming back to me begging why didn't they like me why won't they give me a chance nobody is worried about it they're all just moving on nobody's getting messaged by anyone that they're not interested in we don't give them access to do that and they have no interest nobody's tried to get me to get another second chance they're just moving on. There's nobody in my agency that dwells on this. They're all moving forward because I took care of the rejection and I also took care of the yes, I am mutually interested. So let's keep the conversation going. Let me know what you think about giving the rejection if you're not interested. And I'm curious what else you'd like me to talk about. I'll be back soon with another conversation topic to inspire your love journey.